Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears, Wines and Spirits review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing, because I've got so many from the same brewery, I thought I'd better crack on. Harbour, Helltown, West Coast Pale Ale. 5.8%, uh, got this one from Morrison's, but Morrison's and Asda have got a massive range of these. Must be, must be popular. Um, style is an IPA Pale Ale. Aroma, freshly cut citrus rind, rind. Palette is light and crisp. The finish is dry, bitter and refreshing. Malts are best pale, lager, wheat and caramel. Hops are Chinook, Centennial, Citra and Columbus. 330ml can, £1.95 to buy. And I got it on a 4 for 6 deal. So about, about the right price actually. Right. Yeah, I've got about six from the same brewery, so, you know, it's one of them you have to start uh, making inroads. So, Amber Pour, uh, slightly off white head, uh, lacy and carbonation, definitely there, even though this isn't the glass that shows it up as much. On the nose. Oh, yeah, citrus on the nose. Oh, lovely citrus nose on the taste. Uh, citrus on the taste. Very refreshing. Um, after a, oh, a warmish day, it's not been a bad day today. You know, um, it's the sort of drink that uh, goes down well. And uh, like I've said before, certain drinks, certain days, um, and makes all the difference. You know, we can go to a pub on the right day. And even uh, something like a, I'm not being horrible to Green King, but a Green King IPA can taste fantastic, you know, on, on a certain day. And yet, yeah, when you're at home, you crack open a bottle, probably the same one, you know, um, and it don't taste anywhere near as good. And I've had that so many times with different beers over the years, where you have it once, you think, oh, I love this, get it again, and you think, mm, what's the keen on this now? So, uh, Good day today, um, had a good day at work, got left alone for once, which is always nice. Uh, um, I've got a bed to plant in, in the middle of West Bridgeford, which is in Nottingham, and uh, cut down the old winter thing, it's like, it's a mixture of perennials and flowers, so, uh, in this day and age, having flower schemes that have flowers that come all year round, die down, come back, you know, and reflower, you know, um, it's that sort of bedding schemes these days, um, m the way we should be going forward, um, the cost of replacing thousands of flowers twice a year, so expensive, the bed I've made, it, it has got flowers in that flower basically all year round, very, very good bed. And the weather this year, it being a bit more wetter than it has been, certainly from the last year's point of view, um, everything's growing lovely. So now I've cut a load of stuff down, planting plants in between, and it should look fantastic. Not that people in West Bridgeford are given monkeys, but, uh, you know, I, myself, if, if I like it, then that's all that matters to me. And also, my son passed his driving test today. So, 22-year-old. Uh, he failed the, is it the fairy side of it, the one where you're on a computer, five times. And, uh, you know, I felt sorry for him because it's bloody expensive. They know how to charge, these bookers do. And, uh, yeah, and then he went to the practical side and on his fifth test he's passed. And, and again, you know, silly mistakes, uh, over, over petty examiners, you know. Um, I know people that have passed and their sh driving is absolutely shocking. I mean, maybe on the day they drove brilliant, but I've seen it and, uh, you know, makes me howl. 
and you look on Britain's roads and the state of some of the, some of the drivers are just no road sense, uh, hesitant, uh, cause accidents by being like that. And, uh, you know, but anyway, passed. So, cheers to my son. Yeah, and a bit early for a bail actually. So they just gone, only about half past three. Yeah, quarter to four, but, you know, quick early review before I start working again. Uh, doing some gardening or whatever. So, yeah, lovely citrus taste. Very pleasant. Been doing a lot of streaming reviews of late, but somebody said last night that the, the sound's just not up to much. And I did have a listen and uh, the other day, and, and I wasn't impressed with the sound. So it looks like I'm going to have to go out and buy. Uh, the, the camera's full, eight, full HD, so I don't suppose the camera's... But I suppose I have to get a better microphone. Uh, see if that makes a difference. So I've got one of them Sony ones. You know, they use what you use for uh, singing songs. I might have to use one of them and see if it's any better. Because um, I don't mind doing the uh, streaming ones at times. Because it takes the pressure off me going upstairs onto the computer and uploading for an hour. As long as I can't see if anybody's watching me or not, because it puts you off. You know, when you can see like five people watching, it's like, whoa, you know, there's people there watching me, it's, it's weird. But uh, no, I can get away with that. So, really liking this. Uh, yeah, this Harbour brand um, from Cornwall. Cornwall, Rob. And uh, again, on the back of the can, it tells you the aroma, the palette, finish. And I like that, you know, it's the modern way. Let people know what they're drinking, you know. Don't just call it a, a pail and not let people know what a pail is, you know. Not everybody knows what a pail is. And different pale ales do different things. So, fair play to them. And like I say, I've got another one here, Harbour. And another two or three over there that are Harbour as well. Yeah, one. Yeah. So quite a few. So I do try and, uh, you know, vary the reviews. Because you don't want one review after another of Brewdog. Because, you know, it'd get on your nerves. But, um, yeah, there's another one. So, <laughs> oh. looking forward to um, my birthday next week. So I'm, I'm taking a long weekend, four-day break. And I'm looking forward to it, you know, just... Uh, Chilling out somewhat anyway, so we've got to decorate the down the front the front room so it'll not be a full on chill. But um stop that tonight, stop moving stuff around. But uh, you know, it's gonna be nice to have a few days off work and chill out. And then the following weekend we're actually away uh for three days, um three days at theme parks and two nights in two theme park hotels, so should be great. So there might be a few less reviews. Because obviously, while I'm not at a computer, I can't do you can't do reviews on your phone anymore, which is bull. You know, my phone's better than my computer. The the videos look better. And if anything, better than doing it on 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 air. You know, I don't know. I'm absolutely loving this. It's it's really nice, really pleasant. It's nice and quiet. No one bothering me. And the weather's actually playing ball at the moment. Although it was supposed to chuck it down last night. It didn't. It says it's going to rain tonight. So I suppose it's one of them things we'll see if it does or doesn't. It's supposed to be coming in at 5 o'clock and raining all night long. And there's a weather warning about it. But uh, I don't know. I don't seem to be doing much at the moment. It's gone cloudy, but... Um, hmm. So, to break this down. Amber colour. Uh, there was carbonation and lacing. Slightly off-white head. That's even now still there. Um, citrus on the palate. Citrus on the taste. Very refreshing. Very nice. You know, I wouldn't say it's an outstanding um, beer. You know... But just a very decent uh, beer, you know, very well worth drinking. <laughs> a 
5.8%. To me, it doesn't taste that strong. But, uh, you know, you go with what they say. If they say it's 5.8, it's 5.8. Um, yeah, it didn't taste that strong. So, out of 5. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a 4.3 out of 5. Yeah, I really like that. That was nice. Nice effort. Yeah, not bad at all. And I've got about another 5 from the same brewery. So, it's gonna, there's going to be a lot of um, Harbour Brewing Company reviews. Thanks for watching. See you soon.